1951 D. Roosevelt dime. Mint mark D indicates that this coin was struck by Denver branch of U.S. Mint. Graded in Mint State 68 full bands by NGC. This sensational superb gem has a bold strike with full obverse and reverse design details, including the full torch bands. Both sides have frosty silver luster beneath impressive rainbow iridescence. It was sold for $2,499.60. Number 7. 1972s Kennedy Half Dollar Double Struck on a Nickel Planchet. Graded as PR66 Cameo by NGC. It is a fascinating and rare error coin. This type of error occurs when a coin is struck more than once by the coin dies, resulting in multiple impressions on the same planchet. In this case, the coin was struck on a planchet intended for a nickel, which is a different metal composition than that of a Kennedy half dollar. Weighing 5 grams, this elusive error coin ended up selling for $3,720. Number 6. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with Double Die Reverse. Graded in Mint State 66 full steps by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, one of the few die varieties in the Jefferson Nickel series important enough to warrant guide book recognition. Dramatic doubling is seen on Monticello and 5 cents, discernible even to the unaided eye. Although FS801 is not overtly rare, gem and finer examples are conditionally so. This premium gem displays luminous, frosty mint luster, cast in delicate ice blue tinting across the silvery surfaces. The strike is sharp, and a couple reveals only trivial signs of contact on Jefferson's portrait. It was sold for $3,720. Number 5. Rusty Tone 1951S Franklin Half Dollar with Full Bell Lines. Graded as MS67 FBL by PCGS. A blended orange gold, lilac red, and lemon yellow toning endows this lustrous superb gem. Hints of sea green and powder blue are also evident in protected regions. The obverse appears pristine, and reverse contact is mostly limited to the lower left portion of the Liberty Bell. It was sold for $3,900. Number 4. 1984 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. As one would expect, the 1984 Philadelphia Cent is prevalent in quality Mint State, but at the MS69 red level it becomes a major blessing to competitive registry collectors. The lustrous butter gold surfaces are immaculate, with no carbon or contact apparent. As always for the 1984, the fields have a subtle matte appearance from trapped gas beneath the copper plating. It was sold for $4,560. Number 3. 1986 Lincoln sent in Mint State 69. Nearly 4.5 billion Lincoln Memorial cents made it out of the Philadelphia Mint in 1986, among them this top-graded MS69 red representative. Each side is pristine and fully struck with mint copper red color. It ended up selling for $5,760. Number 2. 1944D over S. Lincoln cent. Famed repunched mint mark variety. This is the rarer of two 1944DS varieties and the one referenced in the guidebook. The top of the initial S protrudes visibly from the top of the D examples are elusive in full red condition, and only a handful of pieces are in superb gem preservation. Several repunched mint mark varieties also exist for this issue but are less visually prominent. This FS511 coin displays a bold strike and satiny copper orange luster without mentionable abrasions or spots. It was sold for $23,400. Number 1. 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel with Repunched Mint Mark D over Horizontal D. Graded as MS65 Full Steps by PCGS. Apparently the best mint employees joined the armed forces during World War II, since a sizable number of blunders occurred in 1942. Besides the 1942-1 and 1942-1 D dimes, we have the present guidebook variety. The mint mark punch was initially entered rotated 90 degrees clockwise, then entered a second time with correct alignment. The lower curve of the initial horizontal D is visible west of the primary Denver mint mark. It ended up selling for $30,550. And that wraps up our exploration of 8 rare US coins worth big money. It's incredible how something as common as pocket change can turn into a valuable collector's item. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content on rare coins, currency, and the fascinating world of numismatics. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, happy collecting!